Hello and welcome to the Advertiser's Guide to the Galaxy with me Karthik Srinivasan. In today's episode, I am going to be talking about a print advertisement unlike the earlier episodes where I spoke about video or TV ads. This one is a print ad for GSK Scrosin 650 paracetamol tablets. As far as I recall, GSK Scrosin first released an ad featuring Mr. Sachin Khurana early in 2022. The pitch in that ad was that Crocin starts working in 5 minutes. Mr. Sachin Kurana is wearing a white coat pointing to a strip of Crocin tablets. How do we know the name of the model in the ad? Because the ad names him explicitly. How many ads name the model inside the ad itself? None. Then in September this year there was another Crocin ad with Mr. Sachin Kurana mentioned again. The pitch now is that Crocin is a trusted brand for years. Why this reiteration on trust now? I presume it is on the back of another hugely popular paracetamol brand being in the news for all the wrong reasons. Dolo 650. Dolo 650 seemed to be the default paracetamol during the pandemic. As a follow up to the vaccine injection and as the paracetamol most cited prescribed during the viral flu itself. In a way, Dolo had become a verb for paracetamol. The makers of Dolo 60 are under the lens of the IT department that conducted searches in the offices of the Bangalore-based Micro Labs Limited for alleged tax evasion. Then, the Central Board of Direct Taxes accused Dolo 650 makers of indulging in unethical practices and distributing freebies worth about rupees thousand crores. to doctors and medical professionals in exchange of promoting its products but recently the indian pharmaceutical alliance had cleared micro labs maker of dolo 650 of the charge given all this bad news for the most famous paracetamol in the indian market it is understandable that gsk wants to retrade the trust around its own crocin 650 its astute business strategy too though one can argue the ethics of such a move too But this episode is not about the Crocin versus Dolo battle. It's about Mr. Sachin Khurana. Considering no ad names its models inside the ad, do ask why this Crocin ad names him. A related question would be why Mr. If he is a doctor, shouldn't that be a doctor as in DR? But doctors are not allowed to promote brands in India. Dr. Shriram Lagu An ENT surgeon and a very well-known actor was famously deregistered from the Indian Medical Association's register after he endorsed Jabbar's Chavan Prash in ad campaigns in the 1980s. So it's fairly obvious that Dr. Sachin Khurana cannot endorse Crocin in GSK's ad campaign. Is it why he is addressed as Mr? Hardly. A more pertinent question is why he is named at all. The answer in my view is that GSK wants the credibility of a doctor's endorsement. This is apparent if you notice the white coat Sachin is wearing. But given the constraints of using doctors to endorse products, GSK and its agency found a nice and convenient loophole that can be used to dissuade governing bodies like Indian Medical Association or the Advertising Standards Council of India. from assuming that a doctor is endorsing something in their ad so allow me to articulate two loopholes involved here in the form of dialogues loophole number 1 is that could be a pharmacist or a chemist too they wear the white coat too you know and they are clearly not doctors loophole number 2 see he is clearly not a doctor despite what you may come to assume based on the white coat we made it very clear by calling his title as mr This is very very sneaky and clever. On a quick glance, most people may not even notice Mr. Sachin Khurana. The name tag mentioned explicitly in the ad. Why? Because no ad names the model. Plus it's the smallest element in the ad besides other fine print. But on the same quick glance, most people would definitely notice a dignified looking man wearing a white coat. and a white coat is more clearly identified with doctors than pharmacists in india what crocin ends up gaining is the illusion that a doctor is endorsing the product and talking about how trusted it is 
most trusted by doctors or most recommended by doctors or even most used by doctors are coveted endorsements in pharma advertising. Many brands use that phrase precisely because they cannot name individual doctors. For those who do notice Mr. Sachin Khurana, there is a nice bonanza waiting for them when they Google that name. Mr. Sachin Khurana is not a doctor and not a pharmacist either. He is a model turned actor. So why is he wearing a white coat at all in Croson's ad and being named specifically? Because this is the grey area that GSK and Croson want to exploit. It's not very different from a policy bazaar using actor Akshay Kumar in a white coat playing a doctor or Neena Gupta playing a doctor in GSK's own 3-in-1 vaccine ad. But in case of Akshay or Neena, most people can instantly recognize them and clearly demarcate two things in their heads. One, the scripted parts of the ad. That is, known actor merely playing the role of a doctor. And two, the actual facts of the ad. That is, Policy Bazaar is good, GSK's vaccine is useful. In case of the Crocin ad, given that Sachin is not as popular as Akshay or Neena, he could easily pass off as an actual doctor thanks to his white coat. Until people notice the name Mr. Sachin Kurana, until people wonder why it's a mister and not a doctor, until people google the name Sachin Kurana. Most consumers of advertising do not bother with even a single until, leave alone all three. That's all for today and we'll be back next week with another piece of marketing communication and another round of insights. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Beast of Troll across Instagram and Twitter and Karthik Srinivasan on LinkedIn. I also happen to have a blog by the same name. You can listen to the show on the IVM podcast app, website or across any audio platform. The show is also available on YouTube, by the way. Just search for The Advertiser's Guide to the Galaxy on YouTube. You can reach out to IVM at at IVM podcast across Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for listening. Mm-hmm.